the dada it's really a simple structure, okay? And we say one to five meat and stick with it. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a soft dagger. So when I use a soft dagger, when he cuts me number one and I hit that and I stick with it, I wanna follow up. And this actually should be written stage one. So as I hit the thing, I wanna follow up. If he goes over here, see I move out of the way, but then I follow through like that. So as, as he hits, see, I meet and stick with it, but, but see, this doesn't go, you see this a lot in knife expert videos, and they do this. And so if I do this, he cuts me. And if I do this, he cuts my testicles off. We call that one hung low, okay? So when he goes like that, see, I stick to it, and I go through his arm, slow motion. That should go, shh. That goes through his arm to his body, and to his body through his arm. Okay, that's stage one. Then when he hits number three, see, I just go like that. Because I don't want to be here and exchange cuts. When he hits me, that's going to cut his arm and that's going to cut his throat. And so what I'm doing, definitely I'm not doing this. I don't want to reach for the knife and break my center line discipline. Let the knife come to you and move your feet. Let the knife come to you and move your feet. Let the knife come to you and move your feet. And then he's never going to get you. Okay, then he comes number uh, four angle, and this one is inverted. And I did this one this way because this is, is weak. So I really want the strength of the structure. So I'm still out of the range, and then I what? Check the hand and thrust. Check the hand and thrust. So I go like that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Okay? And then number five, again, is I move to my, to my right or I move to my left. Okay? And that's your basic knife. And that will save your life. I guarantee you that. All the other stuff probably gets you killed. Okay, so now the, uh, the uh, well, I missed a footwork. So the footwork we call a star pattern is really, it's like an asterisk, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm just doing the female triangle and the male triangle, and then we go laterally, okay? And so most of the time the female triangle is overused in Filipino martial arts, it's really overused because typically people are used to drilling and feeding from a drilling basis. So a lot of time if Risto is attacking me, whatever he has in his hand, just say he attacks me with a knife. So when he slashes like that, he slashes here. So I have to step in to get that. But if he's cutting me, really I'm going laterally. If he's cutting me, maybe I'm going backwards. I'm not going to go into this position because he's going to break your structure and cut you. So when, when the person is coming to you, you don't need to, to advance as much. Okay, so keep that in mind. And a way to test it is have your partner go ballistic. And what I mean by that is you're going to do a split entry. If I go like this, he has to step into that. But if I go like this, if he steps into it, he's going to get knocked on his seat. And that's why I mean go ballistic. Really lunge at him and hit. You'll find out the female triangle gets you knocked down. So really, you use that a lot less than what it is advertised. Because when you're feeding, a lot of time he's feeding the punch like this. So now he has to step in to gunti that. He has to step in, see? But in reality, he has to step back in, for, in order to be effective. And I believe we cover that in the disc. So, so your footwork is over there like that. Female, I'm shifting. It's not saying you don't use it, but but use it judiciously in the proper time, see? So that's why I'm shifting like that, see? And I can salute that, so I can salute that, and I can salute that, see? And I could use the gunti like that, and I could use the gunti like that, and I could use the gunti, and I could use the gunti, and I could use the gunti, and the gunti, and I could use the inward gunti, and I could use the backhand gunti, see? And I could use the backhand gunti and I can use the backhand gunting. So really be creative with your footwork. 
Because I, I will tell you this, one thing you need to do if someone attacks you with a weapon is move first. Everything else will wash out. Okay, and then in the double stick, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Most of you already know about this. You have the Cinnawally, and you have what's called heaven pattern, which is six hits all pointed up. And then you have six hits high, low, high. And then you have six hits that are low, low, low. Okay, and so when you advance, you could go, and then you could go like that. This is really basic, and then they go like this. And that's a really standard footwork. And so the Cinnawally pattern we call heaven six, heaven six, standard six, standard six, earth six, earth six. And on earth you can shift and go, and shift and go like that, see? And that's more the lat, we call the lateral movement, okay? Which uh, should be done with footwork at, at at this level, okay? And then uh, the huban, uh, we go with a stick first, and we're just gonna go here. That's your basic huban. And you're making sure to monitor high and low. We call two-way energy, okay? And that's a basic huban. We call it huban number one. You should do that. I don't wanna see it fast, it'll make me throw up. Okay, and then you go with the knife, and you put the knife in the earth grip, and then you go like that. That's who, but I'm letting the knife come to me. I'm not reaching out. I let the knife come to me. Okay? So if I reach out, it's a chance I'm going to miss it. Okay? So I just go like that, see? So don't reach out like this, because you're going to end up with a knife in your teeth if your partner's... Caveman, see, so go like that, see, and just do it nice and slow. You monitor that line, and he monitors that. So your partner helps you, and then all your techniques, they're going to come out of that hubud. Okay, so that's, and then you can do it with a knife in the heaven grip, and you go like that, see. And that's the same thing. He's got to monitor this line, and I got to monitor both lines. And, and later on, that's where this, this thing starts to answer, right, okay. But right now, you're not really worried about technique. Just get the positioning and the flow so that we have something to work with. Okay, so that's a blue belt. Hopefully, you know, no questions.